We're back with the best of 2023 series. And today we're hitting bombs. It is the high MOI drivers from 2023. Lots of ball speed, lots of forgiveness. We're going to do a lot of testing. Kevin will hit some shots and give his feedback on the look and feel. And then at the end of the video, we'll do some ranking in various categories to help you decide which driver is gonna be the best one for you this year. Golfers, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and then leave us a comment and tell us which of these drivers you're playing this year or which one is your favorite. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf, joined today by Mr. Kevin Kraft, a master club fitter from our Columbia store here in Minnetonka. And we've got some drivers, seven of them, uh, new 2023 models, um, a lot of explosiveness, a lot of distance. I think you're trying to kill me. <laughs> it's a lot of swings as well. Uh, and I know you're chasing that ball speed all the time too, so we'll yeah. see how much energy you can get out of this. But um, what do we think? I mean, what are what are your, you know your takeaways so far in fitting these so far this year? Uh, there's just a whole lot of goodness across this across the the spectrum here. Yeah. Um, everybody's got really great products. It's a mm -hmm. wonderful time in in driver world. Uh, everything is so good. A um, couple of our standouts right now: uh, Titleist TSR2, mm -hmm. really forgiving, great low spin, awesome ball mm -hmm. speeds. Uh, Paradigm's doing very, very well. Ping's starting to really pick up now too, uh, as we're doing more and more drivers. Um, Cobra's holding its own very nicely. Really good ball speeds there. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, there's a there's a lot of lot of good stuff. Right. Yeah. So we've got seven, like I mentioned. Yep. Uh, that it includes the Ping G430 Max, TaylorMade Stealth 2, Callaway Paradigm, Titleist TSR2, Mizuno STZ 230 the Shrixon ZX-5 Mark II, and the Cobra Aerojet. Um, they're all here for a reason. They're yep. all A, demanded by a lot of golfers out there, B, perform really well in the fitting bay. Yeah. And so now we have to kind of narrow it down and kind of maybe differentiate them a little bit, but obviously sure. they all deliver the speed, deliver the forgiveness, yeah. et cetera. So yep. um, without further ado, I think it's ready to hit some shots. Yes, a lot of shots. Well, it's been the same ball flight every time. Something to be said for consistency. Baby draw from 290 to 300 yards every time. I like it. A little more speed. Baby draw. Look at that. So leading the way is G430 Max. We got four good swings. And I got to say, that was a pretty good start for this test. Um, very yeah, consistent out there. <laughs> It's pretty good. <laughs> Baby draw every single time. Woo. 149 smash. Look at the smash factor variance consistency number 0.00. 149, 149, 149, 149. That doesn't stink. No. Uh, pretty good. Any yeah. other thoughts? I mean, otherwise. Super stable. Yeah. Feels fantastic. Sounds night and day different from last yes, year. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Uh, in, in the good way. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, this was great. Produced, you know, this is this is kind of shaft that I would typically play. Yeah. 60 gram stiff, low launch, low spin. Yep. Uh, we'll see that in all these. And, right. and you know, it just felt really stable. Mm -hmm. um, you can't argue with, no, you can't. with the direction. Right. For sure. Yeah, we should talk a little bit about just because the, the shafts primarily are going to be 60 gram stiff yep. generated. I mean, a lot of Kylie Whites or yeah. hazardous yep. black. Yep. Um, throughout here. So comparable profiles. Yeah. Not exactly yeah. the same due to fitting components, but it'll Correct. be as close as we can get. So, um, but yeah, good. Uh, and they're all that, what, nine degrees turned down to eight. Turned down, yeah. Part. Trying so, to get around about eight degrees. Yep. So, um, but really darn good start by ping there. So yeah, that was, that was nice. That was, everything felt really good there. Now we're on to stealth. Okay. Stealth two. A little toey. It's trying to come back. It's fighting it for a little bit. Yep. Might be hung in the right rough, but I think he got yeah. a shot at the green still. Should be okay. Okay. And then we hit a fade. 
The draw shows I up every it. time and then I we hit a fade. It. So, I mean, truth be told, 95% of the time when I stand up to hit a driver, I line up down the middle, swing hard, yeah. and I hope for the best. I'm pretty good at squaring it up. Yeah. So I don't get a lot of this. And I don't get a lot of this. Sure. So usually, you know, anything between the trees is, right, right. is acceptable. Except in a US senior open where if you're not in the fairway, you're dead. So yeah. Yeah. Well, you hit uh, so far you've hit seven of eight in the fairway. Okay. And uh, four, five, six of them are in the dead center of the fairway, essentially. Um, so stealth two, you hit uh, a new mark and carry at 275. Okay. You had a little bit more swing speed, which resulted yeah. in yeah. a little bit more ball speed, but yeah. not that much because you were actually more efficient with the G430. Correct. So Correct. there's kind of, I mean, you, you, the launch angle helped you carry it a little bit further. Yep. Um, so a little bit more height, steeper landing angle, things like that. So interesting there. Um, but overall, the consistency, I think, is still winning with ping but you might have potential for more distance with yeah. Stealth 2 well, based on those shots. If you, you give me that two miles an hour of club head speed um, with right. the same efficiency and... Yeah, then you yeah, were going to be talking, which we might yeah. get there with some we, of these models. Yeah, here, so. yeah, could, could so, happen. Could right. happen. Paradigm. Paradigm. 20 cents. Yes. Actually, it's not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought that one was going to be in the next county. Wow. Ooh, yeah. That'll work. Okay. That'll work. Didn't see the ball speed there. I'm a little surprised we didn't get more ball speed. Yeah. So, I mean, you, were, you swung it a little bit slower than Stealth 2, but okay. um, what is notable is how consistent the spin is here. And it's still... I mean, up there distance-wise with yeah. uh, Stealth 2. Right, and in the, right in the mix. You may have been a little bit less efficient with the strikes, but yep. um, still really, really good stuff from Paradigm. And if we bring up the dispersion, just we see with the exception of that one that we, the, the, the smothered one, yeah. if you will, yeah. um, there seems to be a bit maybe of a, I don't say it's biased to the right, but um, um, for I'm you, just not in this case, not turning it over with that yeah. draw. I'm okay with that. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't want to see the ball go left. Yeah. So if I'm not seeing the ball go left, I'm usually happy. Okay. I'm okay with. I mean, I'm even okay with that one over there on the on the right. Just hack it out of the rough and yeah, well. go on. You know how to do that. Yeah. All right. Titleist TSR2. Yeah. Very intrigued by this one because this is technically the only one here that wasn't a 2023 release since it was it was available to all of you viewers prior to yes. 2023. So. Yes. And it's also on a two-year life cycle. Yes. So this is just the first year mm -hmm. with it still. Oh, my. Immediate jump in speed. I see a, uh, an interesting smash factor number there. Ooh. Uh, Spicy. It, it, it happens with this driver. It really does. Okay, that was towy. Let's see what happens here. Ah, I like that. Yeah. A little bit of gear effect. That's got a little, interesting. Got a little more spin that time. That is interesting because typically the gear effect lowers the spin. Usually does. But that's a good, I mean, that's not like it's a bad thing. Yeah, no, good, that's, that's, that's actually really a good. great thing. Yeah. That's, that's kind of a little more what you want. The spin to it yeah. is, mm -hmm. when you miss hit it, it's probably a good thing. Yep. Wow. Okay. The TSR2 is pretty solid. It's pretty solid because you hit 151 twice. You got a 149 and 150. It's a little bit of an understatement, Drew. This club is, this, this driver is exceptionally solid. Yeah. And it's, it's producing spin rates like we would normally see with the TSR. T S T S T S I yeah. three. Mm -hmm. Right? So this particular package gives you the best of all worlds. Lots of forgiveness, huge amount right. of ball speed. Just because it still is the forgiveness. Sexy of, looks. It's the forgiveness everything. of the 
higher MOI type yeah. model, the standard yeah. model. Yeah. But then you add in the lower spin of yeah. a lower spin model. Absolutely. If no you're chasing distance, that's good. No compromises here. Yeah. None. All right. Well, the bar is now set for, I think, by Titleist. Stealth 2 is up there in distance. Yep. Um, yep but yep. in terms of efficiency and consistency. Ball speed just. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go to Mizuno here now. Ooh, okay, so I will, uh, I'll be honest, I have not had time to dive into this driver much. I've hit it, I think, a couple times, but not a ton. So this will be uh, maybe right, a little well, tiny bit of an eye opener yeah, for this me. This is uh, no better time to try it out. Yeah. There's a different sound off of that one for sure. It is a little bit different. Be a slight miss there. Yep, a little toey. It's actually worked out really well though. It I mean, has. It's, it's a really good miss if it's a feels, miss. Feels very stable because those all those shots have come towards, slightly towards toward the, the toe, toe yeah. and we haven't seen Which, much of a wobble. Yeah. And we've been over this, you know, if you're going to miss somewhere on the face, slightly toe side is the way to do <laughs> toe, it. Toe is the way to go. Yep. <laughs> Just got up under that one a little bit. <laughs> okay. That is, all right. Not terrible. Not terrible. <laughs> 33. <laughs> that is, that is, that is that, gross. That's nuts. That's absolutely crazy. 1900, 1961, 1923, 1986. Yeah, that'll work. Also, yeah. the, the, the carry variance is 1.1 and the total distance is 1.3. That's kind of a joke. Uh, so it might not be the furthest one up here, right? Yeah. But it is certainly, I think to this point, the most consistent. Yeah. Um, I haven't yeah. even brought this up yet, but I mean, yeah, look at that. Yeah. It's, it's, you know, it's good. It feels good. Yeah. It's, I thought the sound was, was pretty solid. I didn't make my absolute. I think absolute, it's a little bit louder than the others. It is I a little think. bit louder. Uh, um, I don't think I made my absolute best swings, but. Um, I mean, we are making you work a lot for this. So, oh, yes. Um, that's that's you okay. Know. Clubhead speed's dropping a little bit. I'm going to try is. and ramp it up over the next couple. Shrixon ZX5 Mark II now. Okay. This one, I've, I've hit the LS version. Um, I think this thing looks really good. Oh, wow. Different sound. I'm ready. That one was loud. Oh, yeah. Ooh. There we go. One whole foot <laughs> curve. <laughs> One thing to do that with a seven iron. It's another thing to do it with a drive. <laughs> Toe ball. Oh. Okay. <sighs> so. I hate that shot though. There's a tendency to go left. Yep. But realistically, you've got first cut, first cut, middle of the fairway. Yeah. Off the fairway by three yards. And then if we look at the data, we see that the swing speed went back up, which is yep. good. Very efficient, 149. Yeah, yeah. And consistent on the spin, 193. I mean, I know it's in comparison, it's to, not the, 33, in comparison but it's, to the STZ, yeah. it's not really fair. <laughs> but still a very, very consistent yep. performer here. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, everything, really looks, good. everything looks good. I think it is, it's a little bit louder. Definitely is louder. Feels, feels really good. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I know I like your comments on feel from the, um, when you were, was it when you were testing the LS you mentioned? Yeah. Like yeah. I you actually like the feel thought a lot? Yeah. the LS, it's, it's a little different sound in here versus yeah, my, my bay back yeah. home. Um, I really thought it was one of the best sounding drivers of the year. Okay. Uh, this sounded a little, a little higher pitch, but again, it could be some differences there between the LS and the, yeah. and the standard. Version, Probably so. is a little bit too. Yeah. So, Aerojet now, and yeah. we actually, so we, we just filmed the, the Fairy Woods one and you commented that, you know, you, you've, you've liked the, the Aerojet driver a lot more yep. than the Fairy Woods. Yep. So, yep. Uh, and I know we did some testing earlier this year and Aerojet gave you really the best numbers. So I'm yeah. wondering if that stands up here today. 
Well, I have this in my bag. So, so maybe that will be the case. Oh, wow. There we go. Knuckleball effect. Yes, indeed. That one's right back on top of the one you just deleted. Nah. Uh, maybe not quite as bad. I think it's definitely further. Okay. All right. Numbers. So now let's, we've got data for all seven drivers. So let's kind of break that down briefly here and then we'll do some ranking. So we, I mean, where do you want to start here? We, uh, we can look at the club speed variances, but ultimately it's about the consistency so and then let's, we can let's look at talk about what these heads are and what okay. we, what we see up here. Yep. These are the higher MOI, more forgiving drivers. Yes. And your spin rates, 1840, 2252, 1942, 2079, 1932, 2245, and 2285. Mm -hmm. Where do we go from there? Down with the low spin models. Here's, there's the big question, right? Yeah. Would we want to go down from there? You probably not. No, most people probably not. Yeah. I mean, you give somebody that's spinning it lower than these numbers, and if they're wild, their misses are huge, mm -hmm. right? More spin is more forgiveness. Yep. And so you, when you got the higher swing speed guys on tour chasing after 24, 25, 26, 2700 RPM of spin so that they can use all that power and not get it as right. far offline, you know, in the hands of the average golfer, you know, low spin produces distance, but it doesn't necessarily produce accuracy mm -hmm. or you know, keeping it on the planet, right. you know, which is, which is the, the number one thing I want. I want all my guys to hit it in the fairway, right? But if they're not, I want them to keep it between the trees. Right. So, so and that's speaking of hitting fairways. Yeah. There's you, a lot of fairways there. So I, I, yeah. I got to feel reasonably you good have, about that. I mean, I, I kind of just want to count these, even though technically I think this one's off, but we'll give yeah. this one to you. It's first so you cut. missed two yeah. on the left first side. Cut. Yeah. Yeah. And you missed four on the right side yeah. and we just hit quick math, like 30 tee shots. So it's a pretty good mark for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, not I'm too bad. Fairways. I like I like these misses over here better than these misses over here. I don't I don't like seeing the ball go left. Okay. I really don't like seeing the ball go left. So then just looking at this, I mean, we have some kind of quote unquote winners in the sense of I mean total distance. Mm -hmm. Aerojet actually was the average winner there. Total distance. Yep. Um, TSR two not far behind. Yep. And then in terms of carry distance, TSR2 is the winner, barely edging stealth. Over stealth, yep. Uh, spin consistency, you have to go back and point out the STZ230 <laughs> and Paradigm also really, yep, really good. Both under 100, that's, that's <clears throat> which awesome. Is, which is actually kind of insane. We don't see that very often. Yeah. G430 Max was really good in that, um, in that space as well. Same with the ZX5 Mark II. Yeah. The height on all of these was right around 100. That's G430 good. That's, a little lower, that's but that's kind of where right. I want it, yep. Your average curve with the Aerojet was exactly zero. That's kind of fun. Um, uh, good stuff, Yeah, unfortunately, though. it got there by being over here. A little bit left and being over here. Yeah, yeah. Well, so the average was nice. But. I think if pe I'm hoping people are just joining watching the video now or they maybe zoomed ahead, scrubbed ahead, and they got to this point and say, wow, the Aerojet is just straight. Dead straight like every that. time. Yeah. <laughs> um, but all right, are we, uh, are we ready to do some ranking here? Yeah, sure. I mean, the only other piece is efficiency, right? And right. Titleist won the efficiency battle. It, yep. uh, you know, the 150. You can't fault one four nines or or even one four seven is right. is is not this is not a bad no strike no and you're get, you're getting a bunch of energy yeah that golf ball yeah so, for uh, sure all right let's do this thing okay Mr. Craft testing complete yep. seven driver models um, we got to get right to the ranking here okay. so um, we'll start with look as we do mm -hmm. uh, the appearance the aesthetic uh, the footprint at address. Is there three favorites out of these seven? There are. Um, I love the Titleist. Okay. I thought yeah. it's just it's just so clean. It's like a fairway wood. Yeah, it's yep. just really really so clean. So clean. Yep. Um, Aerojet. Yep. I I it's I mean it's my driver. Yeah. I, I wouldn't knowing knowing me being very aesthetically oriented. Yes. You know the. I like the carbon fiber look. I mm -hmm. think it's really clean. It's awesome. And I'm going to go with okay. the Stealth 2. Yeah. Um, I, I, like the, I like the color scheme on this. Yeah. It looks really good. I like the shape. Um, 
personally, mm-hmm. I like the red face. Yeah. It, it doesn't it distract is sort me of a, or anything. It so, sort of is a hot button deal for a lot of people. Yeah, some people um, do not like it. Don't, you can yeah. go into, uh, you know, we can do tailor made my stealth too, mm-hmm. and you can make it whatever color you want it yeah. to be. Yeah, yeah. we actually just got one traded in the other day. Oh, yeah. A, it was a lefty with a green face Ooh. and black all around. Okay. Uh, so that was an interesting, interesting. one. We see them yeah. all the time there, get traded yeah. in the second yeah, swing. Yeah. So, nice. um, okay, so now on the feel and sound element, mm-hmm. I know we had some comments along the way of what was uh, some distinct noises coming from mm-hmm. the drivers, but anything there that um, stands out to you? I really like the stealth, but I'm going to take the ping and put it with the Titleist and the Cobra in terms okay. of feel. Okay. Um, I thought- So you had the were... same rankings just with ping instead of yeah. stuff there for, yeah. for the feel and yep. okay. Yep, uh, all three of those felt fantastic. The ping, the ping, I've worked with it a fair bit. Yeah. And I don't know, today just kind of shocked me is like, it just felt super stable. Right. Uh, and those shots going right up the middle. I mean, that's that's it's a nice little circle. Yeah, it or is. Oval we've got there right, right in the center. Yeah, that, that uh, white I one. I like that. Yep. So. And I think I mean I I made the comment to you when we were testing G430 right away initially. Yeah. Was how much improved the sound is, oh, and maybe we can talk more about that kind of when we get to the innovation piece. Yeah, but yeah. Um, I was the comment I made was when people like it's a busy day today in here and people are hitting drivers in the demo bays. Yeah. If it was a G425, you knew it you right know. away. Yeah. You oh, knew absolutely. it from across the yep. store. And yep. so G430, you can't tell. It's yeah. a very kind of, um, I guess, pleasing sound. It is. At, it at is. Impact. Yeah. So very, It's responsive. It feels yep. It feels toasty. feels hot coming off the, yes, coming it does. Off the face. So, yeah. so we got to get to performance now. Okay. So we just hit a bunch of tee shots. Yep. We saw a lot of ball speed. Yep. We saw a little uh, abstract painting up there. Mm-hmm. So... Um, you look at all the dots, you look at all the numbers, three models that jump out from this test or maybe from any other testing you've done as well. So, um, yeah, it's really not terribly difficult on this one. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go straight back into the feel and sound category. Scenario. Yep. Yeah. The Titleist, the Cobra and the, and the Ping. Yep. Um, same order. Um, mm-hmm. yeah, I think maybe. Um, the, the ball speed off Titleist is just nuts. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's been crazy. So mm-hmm. fast. Yep. Um, and it's a it's a it's a fantastic driver. My Aerojet has been great. This isn't the shaft that I play. Yeah. Um, I've gone a little bit off the outside the normal playbook for my for my driver shaft. Um, I love what I'm playing. Yeah. Absolutely love what I'm playing, and it goes very very far, and it goes very very straight. So uh, mm-hmm. I like that. The ping totally won me over in this one. Just, yeah. I mean, my goodness, the, the, how can you not want to hit it straight and yeah, right there. What we're and total, that was your total it was your first were, four swings of the test too. Yeah. So you're just yeah, you're, I was you're kind I, of going in cold swinging, yeah. and you get the four straightest ones of the yeah. test basically. And we're we're six yards shorter yeah. than the than the longest. Yeah. But dead center of the fairway every time. There's a lot to be said for that. Yeah. You'll yeah. you'll take that. I think. Yeah. And, for sure. A lot of times, six yards, it can be a half a club. You might find yourself in the wiggle room, but it's yep. never a full club difference. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, all right. Last category here is going to be innovation. Okay. So, you know, we last time we, you know, recorded videos on these products, it was a lot about the tech. We talked a lot about sort of the yep. fitting specs and the tech and everything. So, yep. um, you know, the big changes, the innovation from these companies with these drivers. Give me a top three there. Um, so, Titleist. Definitely. I mean, yep. the, the materials that they're using in, in their faces now um, <laughs> it produces great ball yeah. speeds. Holy cow. I mean, it feels great. Everything they've done to this golf club, they've they've made it better looking. Yes, they have. Um, they've they've made enough changes to the way it's weighted in the materials mm-hmm. that the spin rates gotten oh, mm-hmm. so low yeah. that you'd think you were hitting a, a TSR three right. when you're actually hitting a TSR two, which yep. is great. You get you mm-hmm. get everything you ask for there. Right. And then you still um, get the forgiveness of the, the two models from the yes, past um, yes. in the stable there. Um, Callaway, yep. in, terms of, in terms of its innovation, um, you know, the, the carbon speed frame mm-hmm. just, I mean, it's, it's, it's another huge step forward in, in golf club design mm-hmm. and their ability to take weight, move it around, mm-hmm. give us three distinct models that, that uh, you know, fit, the whole 
pantheon of right. golfers, right? Um, I love the adjustability in here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's 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 a good it's a good clean look. Yeah. Um, you know the the division between the gray and the and the blue may bother some. Sure. But you know, ultimately, we're supposed to be looking at the golf ball. So, right. 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 That that um, carbon chassis is a big deal. Yeah. I mean, they've yeah, yeah. that. I know Kelly's very proud of it, and there's a lot of saved weight that they created mm -hmm. there that has been yeah. huge in the fittings. Yep. Now. And then, I mean, let's 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 be honest. Ping's probably in terms of innovation this year. The uh, it's got to be in the top three as well. Um, a lot of that is a sound to me. The, the weight's been moved around, so it's even more stable. Yeah. Um, the <laughs> the sound is yeah just you know they, they, we didn't see a a cosmic leap forward in terms of uh, distance or anything, right. but changing that auditory response yeah uh will make a a whole lot more fans than than what they right had and i think because the performance of the g425 i mean nobody had any complaints about it no no it was just that audio thing that yeah. turned off a lot of people maybe and yeah. said i don't want that even in the fitting yeah. right and so that was a big box that they had to check yeah. with the g430 yeah. and they certainly have done and we're going to see some. even more innovation with when we go into the lst head because then right. we've got the car the introduction of carbon fiber there mm -hmm. uh which definitely changes some things up as well it does so, it does well yeah. and that's we made the caveat as well and we have it we've done it with each of these videos that your take on your swing yeah it's going to be yeah. different from yeah. the viewers take yep. and the viewer swing so you still have to come in and get fit you have to see it for yourself test it out for yeah. yourself and get the numbers for your swing. And I'm trying to be as objective as possible. Yeah. You know, I'm not just okay. So this is the driver I play, right? We everybody knows this is <laughs> this is the driver I play. I love this driver. There's some interesting changes to to what Cobra has done this mm -hmm. year as well. Um, you know, the the infinity face is gone. Yep. And we've got a we've got a face that feels a little bit firmer, but boy, it's produced really good ball it speed. Has. So it has. you know, but I'm trying to be as 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 upfront and open about what I'm actually experiencing as possible yeah. uh, mm -hmm. through these tests. But nobody's gonna, you know, my opinion doesn't matter. Ultimately, you know, only, the only thing that matters is when you come in to see me, we try these things out and we find what mm -hmm. you like the look of, what you like the feel of, what you like the sound of, and then what, what numbers, you know, match up the best. So, um, you know, you can you can either confirm or deny anything that I've said in this process sure. and, and come in and get fit. I like it. Yeah. I like it. Well, yeah. make sure you schedule that fitting. Hit more bombs, hit more straight, and hit more fairways, really, yeah. in 2023 as well yeah. with a driver that's fit for your swing. So, Kevin, thanks for joining. Um, really good stuff in this test. I think the viewers will like it. I hope so. I hope so. I need a cot. I need to go lay down. <laughs> <laughs>